Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Gracious with MBG Organizing Solutions, and today I'm talking about records management. And no, I'm not talking about vinyl, although there's nothing wrong with that. I'm talking about business records, the things that document who did what and when and for what reason, and they come in the form of email, paper, electronic files. These are things that tell us what happened, why it happened, and who it happened to. Business records, they're very important. You need to save these to doc for, for many reasons. First of all, to document business decisions that were made, and also because th they could be part of a legal discovery process. There's lots of, of laws and regulations surrounding business records. But let's not get business records, these very important pieces of documentation, confused with what I call reference materials. So let's talk about the difference between those things and and how to recognize them when you see them. Business records are usually things that say, all right, here's what we're going to do. It comes in the form of, a, of minutes of meetings. It could be an email that represents a direction or a decision. It could be a report showing performance over time. It could be a project scope document saying this is what this project is intended to do and why. Those are the types of things that are going to be business records. Also, employee files. Those are, those are absolutely example of business records. Reference materials, by contrast, are things that you keep because you, you might need them someday. They rep, it's like, ooh, that's great information. I might want to do that, you know, or replicate this again someday. Or, oh, I'm so glad so-and-so sent me this because that's, that's, that's really, you know, good information. Business records are focused on the past. They, their primary value to the company is that documentation of the past. Reference materials, by contrast, are focused on the future and what we could do someday, looking back on this. So recognize them when you see them because you're going to treat them very differently. With a business record, remember documentation, you will keep it if you are the owner of it and most likely you own that which you created. So if you sent the email or created the report, you are most likely the owner of it. And, with, and so you keep it if you own it. You also keep it if it has not expired according to your company policies. Like milk, records expire. So if, it, if the company tells you to keep them five years, then keep them five years and no more. Reference materials, by contrast, you keep, it's more of a judgment call. You keep them if they're current and up-to-date, and if they're relevant to decisions that you'll be making in the next, let's say, 12 months. So business records, be very careful with them. Reference materials, be very brutal, because I find with my clients that 90 to 95% of the emails and papers and electronic files that they have are reference materials, not business records. If you want to know more about records management, please pursue my training course, Records Management for Regular Folks. You may find out more information on my website, www.mbgorganizing.com. This is Dr. Melissa Gracious. Have a great day.